What's going on, everybody? This your man, Lucky. I'm back with another one. Fellas, let me ask you a question, man. Are you currently in a relationship, long-term relationship, or maybe a marriage, and you're contemplating, you're, you're really thinking about getting out of this relationship, you're really thinking about getting out of this marriage because it isn't what it used to be anymore. But one minute, it's like, okay, yeah, I got to get up out of here because this thing ain't doing what it used to do. And then, you know, for two months, everything might be good. So you're like, yeah, okay, maybe I'll stay for a while or whatever. And then two months later, you're like, yeah, nah, I got to get up out of this thing. And you're having a hard time really trying to figure out whether or not I need to get up out of this situation. You know, does this situation serve me anymore? For a lot of guys, man, the relationship, the marriage, the situation just doesn't serve them anymore. But let me tell you something. One of the wrong reasons why a lot of men stay. Hold on, man. Let me get this thing situated, right? Let me get let me get comfortable, man. And um, I'm going to just kick it with y'all for a little while. All right, y'all. Let me um, let me see, man. Let me power this thing down. Uh, let me do that right there. Take care of that right there. Take care of this right here. Okay, guys, I'm here. Listen, man, let's talk about it, all right? Listen, if you're anything like I am, right, and I'm just being straight up with you guys i'm being straight up honest and more than that i'm being transparent all right a lot of men get into relationships with women for the wrong reason right not because he doesn't really want not because you don't really want to be in a relationship not because she's not a nice woman or whatever the case may be but look man a lot of us are driven by looks right men a lot of us are driven by looks and a lot of times the reasons why we get into relationships with women off of her looks like, let's just be honest right I'm not saying that she's not a great person or anything like that but look has she not had that body on her you understand you know we, we probably would have never have, have been there in the first place so now what the situation is is that hmm you kind of feel obligated to stay in a relationship. Look, let's say you've been in a relationship for two years, three years, especially my long-term relationship guys or my married guys. You married, you know what I'm saying? You done, you done, <laughs> y'all done been together for years. I'm going to tell you something, man. Y'all know that body don't stay. That body does not stay. So what do you do, man, when you in a situation where you with a woman, man, she a good woman and everything, man, but that body is gone. And it's like, usually the body is the reason why you got into the relationship in the first place. Now I know women to be like, oh, you're supposed to run regardless of what I look like and all of this kind of stuff like that. Man, let's just be honest, man. Some of us are really just, we, we're driven by that body, man. And when that body goes, it's like, yo, what am I here for? And a lot of times, guys, we have resentment or I don't know if it's resentment but we're just not, we're, look, when we look at her, she's just not that attractive anymore. And let's be real, attraction is very important in a relationship. So now what happens, you hear women talk about it all the time. Oh, in the beginning, he was this. And in the beginning, he was that. But then what happened is over time, all of that fell off. Yeah, well, over time, you fell off. You understand what I'm saying, fellas? But y'all don't want to be the bad guy. And, you know, you throw little hints here and there like, hey, what's up? Um, You know, mm, maybe you need to get in the gym or, hey, let's go for a walk. You know, little subtle things, little subtle things like that. But then after a while, it gets to the point where, look, you, you ever just sat back, man, and just looked at looked at your shorty? Or, or just and I'm, I'm being honest, man. I'm not trying to be funny. You ever just sat back and look at look at her and you just be like, man, <laughs> you'd be like, yo, if you had to re if you had to hit the reset button and start start from scratch right now where y'all were not in a relationship, y'all were not married and she was just you were single. She was single and you happened to bump into her the same place where you bumped into her. You met her all over again the same way you met her the first time. But she had the body that she has now. Honestly, would you be as interested in her now? with the body she's in now as you were as you was back when you met her let's just be honest and would you make that approach or would you have that interaction with her you know had she had then the body that she has now let's just be honest man and so for a lot of us man a lot of men a lot of times man we'd be feeling trapped in the situation man where 
it's like, man, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. Or maybe now the juice ain't worth the squeeze. See, let me tell you something. Back years ago, let's just say y'all been in a relationship for like five years, 10 years, whatever. Y'all been married for however long, right? Some of the things that she did back then, you might have put up with it. You know what I'm saying? It might not have really been an issue because she, you know what I mean? She had that body. So it was like, yeah, all right, you know, <laughs> all right, I'll put up with that because I know, you know, bang, 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 you're going to take care of that, right? It's not a problem. But now it's like, yo, there is no way you think I'm going to take this type of behavior from you like that. You understand what I'm saying? See, your tolerance level now it's going to be totally different than it was when she had that body. But see, she don't understand that. She just looking at you like, oh, you fell off. You not, you know, especially if you're a dude that's you, you work out and you get in the gym. You know what I'm saying? You physically fit. And you looking at her like, nah, it ain't hitting for nothing. Your tolerance, your level of tolerance is going to be so low that any little thing is just going to aggravate you. The level of attraction is not there. Listen, let me tell you something. When you're in a situation like that, you got to sit her down and have a conversation with her like, yo, listen, this is the issue. This is the problem. Now, most women ain't going to take that well. I, at least I don't think because I know women are real sensitive when it comes to that. But fellas, listen, what do you do when you feel trapped in a relationship? And now the woman has gained weight and you're no longer attracted to her. Are you obligated to stay in that relationship? Now, I know a lot of guys are going to be like, well, you know, you you said you 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 took your vows and this and that for better, for worse, sickness and in health and, you know, and slim and thick or, you know, whatever that you're going to ride it out. But how do you ride that out? How do you ride that out with a woman that you're not attracted to? Because, I mean, let's be honest, man. When you're not attracted to a woman, you are going to be um, in no way, shape, or form motivated to want to do things. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no motivation or anything behind it. Attraction is very important, guys. So let me, let me tell you something, right? I'm going to flip it on you right now, right? What do you do when you're in a situation where she has that body, you know what I'm saying? But the behavior is off. See, when the behavior is off and the body is off, it's like, nah, I'm not doing this. I'm out of here. That's that's an easy one right there. You up out of there. But when the behavior is off, but the body is on, we tend to take a little bit more, you know, than we should. And that's bad business. Guys, this is not the body is never a good reason to stay in a relationship that no longer serves you now if the relationship serves you you know what i'm saying that's fine but if the relationship does not serve you never choose body over behavior never choose body over behavior i'm telling you right now because what's going to happen is you are slowly but surely you're going to lose yourself and what's going to happen is when you're ready to get up out of that situation you're not going to be able to leave you're stuck you're addicted to the body and that's where a lot of men go wrong that's the bad decision that a lot of men make because they feel like yo if i get up out of this situation where am I going to find another shorty with a body like that? Especially if you've been married, you know what I'm saying? Five years, 10 years, you're a little bit older. The women out there, the pool of women that, you know, you're going to be choosing from is a little bit older. You know what I'm saying? You really don't find that as, as women get, get older, you know, their bodies get out of whack. You understand what I'm saying? So now you're trying to figure out like, yo, if I get up out of here, where am I going to find another body like that? Where am I going to get me another body like that? And y'all know nowadays, man, the women out here, I'm not going to, I'm not saying all, but you know, a lot of the women out here that got them bodies, it's a whole bunch of foolishness that comes along with it. You understand what I'm saying? It's a whole bunch of foolishness that comes along with it. So I, I'm simply telling y'all this, man, do not stay in situations or do not get into situations with women simply because you're choosing body over behavior that is a bad move you must always choose behavior over body now now choosing behavior 
over body is going to work for you in the long run. I'm not saying you got to go out there and find you a, a one or two who's treating you like a king. I'm simply saying behavior over body. It, it, yo, would you rather be treated like a piece of trash? Would you rather be treated like you have no value? Would you rather be, you know, disrespected and violated and all of that? Because she got body? I mean, a lot of y'all are in situations like that. And it's like you can't leave because, yo, you were, you were just, just addicted to the body. Yo, do not risk your self-esteem, your mental health over a body. Because I'm telling you right now, if you're in a situation where you're choosing body over behavior, there is one thing that I can almost guarantee you that body is going to leave. I don't care how bad she is when you get with her. At some point in time, that body is going to fall off. And what's going to happen is that you're going to be stuck with a horrible body and bad behavior. And now you're going to be like, what do I do? How do I get out? It's not a, it's not a good choice, guys. It's not a good choice, man. Behavior over body. A lot of you guys are stuck in situations you can't leave because you're addicted to that body. She got that bad body, but she got bad behavior. And you're putting up with the bad behavior just because she got that bad body. That bad body is going bye-bye. And when that bad body go bye-bye, you're stuck with bad behavior. Guys, do not make this bad decision. I'm telling you right now. And if you already made that bad decision, you, you just going to learn. <laughs> you're going to have to do what you're going to have to do. If you got to get up out of there, get up out of there. Because I'm telling you, women be like, yo, I'm telling you guys, man, listen, I'm telling you, man, behavior over body. You know what I'm saying? Especially, especially if you're going to get married, especially if you're going, if you're getting married, if you're getting married, man, you got to don't go. If you're just dating long term relationship or whatever, and then the body deteriorates, you know what I'm saying? The body goes or whatever. And you feel like, yo, listen, I'm no longer attracted to you. You know what I mean? Like, you like. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not keeping your body up or whatever and, and you can easily get up out that situation. Okay, cool. Cool. That's not a problem. But I'm telling you, you guys that long term, especially marriage. I'm, I'm telling you, man, don't do not choose the body over behavior. It's always going to be a bad decision <laughs> and it's going to come back on you. Hey, yo, look, man, I don't know if I was all over the place with this one, man. Let me know whether you agree or not, man. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know, man. Any of y'all guys dealing with this, man? I know there's plenty of guys out there, man, that are with a woman, man. And when they look at the woman, man, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? And, and then, of course, man, that's going to ca cause a lot of guys to have wandering eyes, man. It's like, yo, okay, I made a commitment to the woman, so I'm going to stay. But, I, you know, I, she don't even <laughs> get... <laughs> Yo, let me know in the comment section, man, if y'all understand what I'm saying, man. Is anything I said um, making sense to y'all, man? Can anybody relate to what I'm saying? Anybody in that situation, ever been in that situation, man? Y'all let me know. All right, um, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all be good.